Hey Outlaws, thank you so much for being part of the online Outlaw Yoga community. Let's get started today in Downward Facing Dog. Plant the hands, set the feet, and pull the belly to lift the hips high. Body like a capital A. Take a big breath in and give it away. Fill up and offer up. That's it, take it. Sigh and give back. Hinge forward to a high plank, top of a push-up. Now I thought today we'd do a class that takes some foundational steps towards forearm stand. So while you're here in high plank, you're gonna start a very subtle scapular push-up sinking just from the upper back and pushing, isolating the muscles of the shoulders. A couple more, just like that. Breathing as you move, subtle motion, significant activation, isn't it, Amy? Drop down a forearm plank, a little bit of a break, and then find the same motion here in the upper back. That's it, just for three more. Two. And one, now stay in forearm plank, but start to walk the feet forward so the hips come high into dolphin pose. Some of us breathing hard already. I'm just sitting here watching, so I'm not, but I bet Amy is down there. I hope you are out there at home. Breathe in and out. Take it and give back. One more, just like that. And as you exhale, walk the feet back. You'll find yourself in a forearm plank. Press up to high plank, lift the hips high for downward facing dog. Breathe in, child's pose as you breathe out. Oh, what a gift, spread the knees wide, toes touch. Now spider tip the fingers so that the elbows lift. Let the forehead rest heavy and you'll feel an opening in the armpit. That's not something that we feel every day, an opening in the armpit. But this is gonna be critical for getting one day, today or another day, into forearm stand. A couple more breaths here, resting, actively engaged. On your next exhale, let the arms relax. The inhale pulls you up into tabletop for cow. Belly drops, look high. Exhale, cat. Belly tucks, look in. A couple more, just like that. Inhale, cow, smile for the camera. And exhale, cat. Luxuriate in these movements. One more. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. In a downward facing dog. Lift the hips high. That's it. Breathe in. And sigh. Ha. Fill up. And offer. Ha. That's it. One more time. Ha. Hinge forward to high plank. We're going to do this same set of little scapular push-ups. Subtle motion, significant action. Dipping just from the upper back and then puffing it up. Three, two, and one. Don't rush them. Lower to forearm plank and do five more of them, just like that. Four, three, two, and one. Stay in forearm plank, but start to walk the feet towards the elbows. Find yourself in dolphin. Relax the back of the neck. Five big breaths in and out. Four, you got it. Three more. Two. And one. Walk the feet back to the back of the mat, forearm plank, press up to high plank, hips lift, downward facing dog, big breath in, child's pose, breathe out, oh, a little smile to yourself, especially if you deserve this rest right here. Same thing, spider tip the fingers, lift the elbows up and invite an opening to the inside line, the arms, the armpits, lats, this mobility is going to be critical for one day moving into form stand. You may not get it today, today. You may not get it today. You may not get it today. You may not get it today. <laughs> you may not get it today. But lock the mechanics away. You'll get it one day. 
Release the elbows. Inhale, up into tabletop, cow pose. Why not? Belly drops, gaze high. Exhale, cat. Belly tucks, gaze in. A couple more times, just like that. The inhale. And exhale. Maybe there's a goal you're working towards. Some step you can take towards it today. On your last one, lift the hips in a downward facing dog. That's the thing about a goal is you set it way out in the distance. You make it smart, objective, measurable. Then take quantifiable steps, little bitty ones towards it. We'll take 10 more right here. Hinge forward to high plank, five scat push-ups, sinking just from the upper back and then pushing up and puffing up the back as if to push it up into the ceiling. After your fifth one, drop down to forearm plank and do five more. And know each of these little incremental steps is getting you closer and closer to that fancy pose, to that big goal that you have. After the fifth one, walk the feet towards the elbows, dolphin pose. Relax the head and neck. Really push through the elbows, through the forearms actively. So you're just dumping down the weight of the upper body. Here for four. Breathing steady, three. Last two. Last one, big breath in. Walk the feet back, forearm plank, press up, high plank, lift the hips back, downward facing dog. Three breaths in and out. Take in and give back. Fill up and offer a sigh. Walk the feet towards the hands for ragdoll. My goodness, you earned that, yogis hands to opposite biceps. You can interlace them into the crook of the elbow so that the arms sort of hold each other. Amy, interlace them to the crook of the elbow. Yeah, keep the hand going, Amy. Yeah, yeah, that's the thumb. Keep the hand going, Amy. Yeah, that's the thumb still. Keep the hand going, Amy. There it is, honey. You got it. <laughs> Relax heavy. Do you feel how much better that feels? It's easier, right? Yeah. Sway gently here. I look for easy ways to be effective in the body. Life's hard enough, shoot. Let's not make it hard to do yoga while we're at it. Breathe in and out. A couple more, just like that. One more, big breath in. And release the hands to the mat as you breathe out. Toe heel the feet towards one another, not quite touching. Inhale, halfway lift. Press into something, flatten the back, squeeze the shoulder blades. That's it. Well done, Amy. Breathe in. Forward fold as you breathe out. A couple more times. The inhale, halfway lift. And fold. Squeeze the hamstrings as you lift up, halfway. And release as you fold. Slow and steady, root and rise. Reach up, up, up to mountain pose. Hands reach high. Flare all 10 fingers wide. Hug the muscles of the arm to the bone. Pull the belly to the spine. Squeeze the muscles of the legs until they're shaking with activation. Then lift all 10 toes up, flare them wide. Breathe in. Back bend, cactus the arms, open the heart as you breathe out. Inhale, reach high, and exhale, fold. Touch the toes or get close. Halfway lift, and flow. Plant the hands, lower halfway to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, chest, chin forward, smile, breathe in. Belly lifts the hips high as you breathe out. Well done, inhale, and exhale. Fill up and offer up. One more time, take in and sigh. Ah, look forward and travel, top of mat. Halfway lift, fold, mountain pose, reach high. Open the heart and shine. Reach up and fold, halfway lift and flow. High to low plank, up dog and down, breathe in and sigh. Ah, look forward and travel, top of mat, halfway. Fold, mountain pose, 
Open the heart. Yes, reach up. Fold. Halfway. And flow. One, none, several push ups. Up dog and down is where we'll meet. Breathe in. And out. Look forward. And jump. Halfway. Fold. Stand tall. And shine. Breathe in. And out. That's it. Halfway. Flow. Take it away, yogis. One more trip through Sunday on your own. But know that we're there together with you. Taking one step at a time to reach those big goals that we have for ourselves, for each other. Maybe your big goal is a personal recycling goal that feeds into a big goal that helps the planet. I don't know. Whatever it is, I wonder what one step you could take towards it today. Yes, breathe in and out. I mean a downward facing dog as you're done. Breathe in and out. Fill up and offer ha. The inhale and sigh. Ha. Hinge forward to high plank. Lower to forearm plank. Several little steps. Invites the feet towards the elbows for dolphin pose. Relax the neck, push through the elbows to push the mat away. That's it, here for five breaths. Don't rush them just because it's tough. There's four, three more. Last two, last one. Walk the feet back, forearm plank. Press up, high plank. Lift the hips high, down dog and drop down child's pose Ooh, never been more grateful for it that's the thing about a goal sometimes you need to take a step back sometimes you need to aim your arrow diagonally to make a step that still takes you forward keeps the momentum growing spider tip the fingers here and keep the elbows lifted to invite that opening through the armpit I know you're doing great work here today, yogis, even if today's not the day that you reach your goal. As you release the elbows to the mat, inhale up into cow one time, and exhale through cat to downward facing dog. Curl the toes, lift the hips high, breathe in, and out. Fill up and sigh. Ha. Lift the right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Touch it or try your very best. That's it, again, lift high. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time, lift it up, breathe in. Knee to nose, squeeze, touch it, step through to lunge. Look forward and reach high, crescent. Excellent job. For just a second here, interlace all 10 fingers and then press the palms to the sky. Side bend to your right. Pressing the palms straight up as if to touch the ceiling, keeping the head centered in between the two biceps. Breathing. And out. Breathe. And exhale. Fill up. And offer out. Reach high, straight up, release the hands. Back bend, open the heart. Reach high and flow, hands frame the foot. Leave the right leg lifted if you got it, lower halfway, up dog, that's it, Amy. Exhale, down dog, pull the hips high. Left side, lift it high. Need a nose, three times, touch it or try. Do your best, one step at a time. Here's two, and one. Squeeze and step through to lunge, one seamless movement. Spider tip the fingers and reach up, curious. Exploring, full of wonder, interlace the fingers. Press the palms up, side bend to the left. This time, opening through the lat, through the armpit, the outside aspect of the tricep. I wonder what weird step you could take towards a big goal in your life today. If opening the armpits effectively gets us into forearm stand, I wonder what weird goal is out there. What weird step you could take to make it happen. Who knows? Breathe in and out. Take it and give back. Reach high straight up, unclasp the hands, open the heart back then. 
three times. And flow, leave the leg lifted if you did on the other side. Chaturanga, up dog, and down. Breathe in and look forward. Breathe out and jump, top of mat, halfway. Fold, Ukatasana, bend the knees and sink the hips, flip the hair back out of your eyes, wipe the sweat. Hands can reach straight up or the palms can press fiercely at the heart space. You know, for today, we might want to reach the arms straight up and keep inviting the opening into the armpits. You can even cactus the arms a little bit here and make as if to pull. Yeah, the back of the arms back towards the back of your mat. It may feel awkward, heck, it may look a little awkward. That's all right. Sink an inch deeper if you can. Breathe in and out. Stay for three. Stay for two. You know what they say, if it's not weird, it's not yoga. One more, breathe in. And now we're reaching high, inhale mountain. Exhale, open the heart. Reach high and fold, hands through the heart. Halfway lift and flow, plant and go. Up dog and down, let's flow. Lift the right leg high, step it through. Crescent, reach up, chaturanga, let it go. Open the heart and open the mind, that's it. Left side, lift, lunge. Reach up and flow low. You know what to do. In your mind's eye, you have a goal. I don't know what your step is, but you do. Down dog, look forward and jump. Top of mat, halfway. Fold, Ukatasana, do the weird version. Yeah, stand tall, mountain. Open the heart, reach high and fold. Halfway lift, flow, up dog. And down, right leg, lift it high, lunge, reach up, you're doing great, and flow. One step, one breath, one pose at a time, up the mountain, left side. When you get there, lift it high and lunge, reach and flow, open the heart. One day the mind is sure to follow, look forward and jump, top of mat, halfway. Fold, squat low, open the heart as you do, <laughs> love it. Reach high, mountain, open the heart, offer it, reach and fold, surrender to it, halfway and flow. One more trip through, yogis, take it away on your own, but together, connected in one virtual family. Breathe and move, and know we're here to help empower whatever awesome goal you have, you're working towards. Comment them down in the class. Tell us what you're working on. Tell us what your practice is helping to fuel. Let us know. Enroll us in your success. As you finish the flow, don't forget Ukatasana. One more trip through, top of the mat. Halfway. And fold. Sink low into Ukatasana. Open the heart. That's it. Stand tall, mountain. Open the heart and offer this effort. Reach up and fold to all of those working alongside you. Halfway, and let's do crow on this last trip through. Plant the hands, bend the elbows, bring the knees to the back of the armpits. Lift up one foot and then the other. The gateway drug to all other arm balances. When you're ready, shoot back, low plank, up dog, and down. Three breaths in and out. Take it and give back. Fill up. And offer a sigh ha, as you drop down the child's pose. Big toes touch. Knees spread wide. Forehead rests. Keep the elbows lifted up if you got it in you. Breathing. And out. Inhale. And exhale. Feel the heart rate slow. Deeper breath. Flowing in and out of the lungs. Meeting the challenge. Head on. As you're ready to move on, allow your next inhale to pull you up into tabletop for cow, belly drops, gaze high. Through cat to talent, facing dog. Pull the hips on. Breathe. Breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. 
lift the right leg high. Lunge, step through, open up warrior two. Drop and spin the back foot parallel to the back edge of the mat. Reach all 10 fingers in perfect opposition. Sneak your lunge a little longer if you can. The knee stays stacked directly over the ankle. And you feel like the lunge is just as long as you can maintain a strong feeling within it. Pull the belly into the spine. Breathe in. Side angle, extend forward. Elbow into the inside of the thigh, pressing in the thigh, pressing right back, and use that gentle and equal torsion to rotate the right lung up to the ceiling. All 10 fingers, energized, spread wide, significant. Stay low in the lunge, present the discipline, reverse warrior. Sweep the right hand up and back. The inhale, and exhale, fill up and offer ha again breathe in and flow take it low up dog and down that's it well done left leg lift it high squeeze and step through to lunge open up warrior two same thing you did in the body on this side as you did on the other that means sneaking the lunge a little longer do so if it means inviting a smile, remember to do so. I'm not someone who likes to be told or remembered to smile, but God damn it, I need it sometimes. If you force that smile for 16 seconds, it'll start to send a definitive signal from the body to the psyche that you're actually happier than you might very well be. Side angle as you're ready. Stretch and reach forward. Press the elbow into the thigh and the thigh right back. Breathe in and out. Take it and get back. Stay low, stay committed. Reverse warrior. Sweep the left hand up and back as if to paint the ceiling. Breathe in and out. Stay low in the lunge, committed in the discipline, steady in the breath. In and out. One more. Take it and take it low, outlaws. Well done. Up dog. And down, chugging right along. Gonna get harder before it gets easier. Right leg, lift it high. Lunge, warrior two. Side angle. Reverse. And release, flow through. Up dog. And down, left side, lift. Lunge, open up, warrior two. Side angle. Reverse and flow through. Up dog and down is where you'll meet. Lift the right leg high once you do. Step through, warrior two. Side angle, reverse, and flow through. You got it, yogis. You know what to do, one step at a time. Left leg, lift it high. Lunge, open up, extend, reverse and flow through. Up dog, and down, right leg. Lunge, open, extend, reverse, and release. Keep going, push yourself, dig deep, and finish strong. Always gonna be more reasons to quit than to continue. Enroll more people in your success and they will check in on you. Hey, did you ever climb that mountain? Did you ever get promoted at work? One more time, finish strong and know that when you do accomplish those goals and you share it with people, boy, you inspire them to be bigger and brighter, to set their sights higher, to shine a little brighter and to do the same for the people around them. Dig deep and finish strong. Left side coming, you got it. That's it. Meet in downward facing dog as you're done. When you get there, hinge forward to high plank. Don't think too much. Drop down to forearm plank. Walk the toes towards the elbows. Find yourself in dolphin until the 
The hips are almost stacked directly over the shoulders. A little bit further if you can. Lift the right leg straight up into the air and stay right here. Forearm stands in your practice. You can bend the left knee and take a little kick up towards it. A little bit of hang time in the air is all you need. Switch legs. Put the right leg down and lift the left leg up. If it's in your practice to take a little kick, do. Or hang out right here. Lifting the leg high, you're almost there. Walk the feet back, find yourself in forearm plank. Press up to high plank. Lift the hips high, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Child's pose as you breathe out. Go, holy shit, what did I sign up for today? Oh, if the yoga doesn't push you past the perceived limit, then it's just a workout can be good and effective for the body, but might not push you far enough in the mind. Invite a level of activity, a level of engagement and presence with this moment so that you notice some resistance, some push back against it. And in that place, know the work that you're doing is the one that makes you a more complete, a more beautiful and amazing and perfect human. This excavation, this peeling of the layers, this is the work we come to do on the map. When you're ready to do a little bit more of that, Invite an inhale to pull you up through cow pose. And exhale through cat on your way to downward facing dog. Breathe in. And out. Take it. And give back. Lift the right leg high. Squeeze and step to lunge. Reach up, crescent lunge. Open the heart, back bend. Reach high, hands to the heart, hinge and twist to the right. Revolved crescent. You'd be tempted to rest here on the arm, don't. Press into the left elbow. Press the palms fiercely. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and then gaze high to complete the twist. If it feels better to drop the back knee gently to the mat at any time, do. Inhale. Twist a little deeper on the exhale. Fill up. Rinse and offer up. One more. Big breath. Big as you can. Twist. Inhale. Reach up to crescent. Stability coming from the belly, from the inside out. And exhale. Open. Warrior two. Straighten the front leg one time. Why not? That's a gift for all of you out there in Yogi Land. And then bend the knee deeply. As deep as you dare. That's it. Maybe deeper than you ever have. Maybe you sneak the front foot just a quarter of an inch forward and you push yourself one millimeter, one mile further today. One breath more and you know you're doing the work you need to. Breathe in and out. Straighten the leg. Triangle. Oh, reach forward. Press the hand down into something. That's it so that you feel the activation of the musculature on the right arm especially. Pull the right shoulder onto the back and feel that activation radiate up through the left arm, the left fingertips. Breathe in. And out. Take it. And give back. Keep the lower body as it is. Reverse triangle. Sweep the right hand up. This can be a really nice pose to do once in a while. Breathe in and flow low, yogis release. Hands to the earth, to the mat. One or several push-ups, whatever you got left in your up dog and down after that. Breathe in and sigh. Ha. Left side, lift it up. Squeeze through to lunge. Crescent lunge, reach high. Open the heart and shine. Reach up, hands to the heart. Hinge forward and twist to the left this time. Same thing you did in the body. 
as best you can, inviting equanimity and balance, you may find you don't twist quite the same. You may find that some aspect of the deep hip feels different. That's okay. Get as close as you can, and if you need to back off, do. And if you ever find that you're wanting to drop the knee on your second side, I encourage you to drop it on the first side the next time in your practice. Always better to back off part of the body to let one aspect catch up with it than to push one unnecessarily. Inhale, crescent lunge, unwind. And exhale, warrior two, open up. And do the same thing you did on the other side. Take your lunge just a half inch further after you find some little respite by straightening the leg. And here, do the discipline. Set your focus on one point and fierce in your gaze and your focus. As you take one little step towards that big smart goal that you've set for yourself, that one day, that one moment, see the triumph in your success coming and know you're working for it by staying right here for one more breath in and out. Straighten the leg, triangle, well done, well done. Reach forward, arms to six and 12, press down to open up. Active here and present, breathing deep. Feel it flow, inhale and exhale. Breathe in and out. Inhale and exhale. One more big breath and let it go. Keep the lower body as it is. Inhale, reverse triangle. Sweep it up and back. Stay here for a couple breaths for just a little while. Inhale and exhale. Fill up and flow, hands to the mat. Well done. Up dog and down. Breathe in and out. Fill up and offer ha. Begin breathing and sigh ha. Look forward and travel top of that. Halfway lift. Fold, mountain pose, reach up, open the heart, be bold, reach high, hands to the heart, left foot down, right foot high for dancer, bend the right knee, capture the right ankle from the inside, that's it, thumb facing up, perfect, reach the left arm high, now lean, kick and reach, and dance, left leg super strong, Left foot stepping down, heart open like up dog, gaze high, up and out, upwards, onwards. You got this, it's okay to wobble. If you fall, come right back. Breathe in and out. Left hand up as high as you can, still opening the armpit, inhale. And release as you exhale, hands to the heart, close the eyes, breathe in and clear that out. One more time, breathe in. Clear something away before moving on to the other side, before moving on with your day. I have little points in my day. I get fucking mad. I get angry at something. Before you just rush into what's next, clear it out. Take a deep breath, one, two, or three, whatever you need, do 10 push-ups. And squats, go outside and yell or hug a tree. I don't know what you need to do to feel ready to move on, but if you just carry that crap with you from one experience to the next, it's gonna haunt the next interaction you have. It's gonna haunt your next moment until you can get clear with it. Breathe in and out. A few more, just like that. Wobbling's okay. In fact, it's productive. It means you're pushing yourself past a perceived limit. Here for two. Last one. Release as you're ready. And even yogis, well done. Hands to the heart, foot to the mat. Close the eyes, breathe in. And clear that. Again, fill up. 
and offer ah, mountain pose. Inhale, back bend. Offer it as you exhale. Reach high and fold. Halfway lift. Crow pose. All forearm stand is is crow and headstand two combined. So the better you get here at crow pose, the better you get at headstand one and two, the better you'll get at forearm stand. Fling the legs back, don't think, Amy. Fling them back. Up dog <laughs> and down. We'll get there, we'll get there one day. You can feel the thinking, can't you? Nod your head, Amy. You can feel it when it happens. It says, I better not do this. I better not do this. Hinge forward to high plank, forearm plank. You know what's coming. Walk the toes towards the elbows. Find yourself in dolphin. Lift the right leg. Lift the right leg and stay here. Stay here unless forearm stand is in your practice or you feel ready to bend the left knee and make a little kick. If you feel ready to bend the left knee and make a little kick, then do. If you don't, then by all means stay right here with the right leg lifted. Set the leg down and lift the other foot up. Doing great. This is the strength you need for forearm stand one day. It will come, I promise you. If you're ready to take a little kick, then bend the knee and do. That's it. Awesome. One more breath in and set the foot down. Breath out. Wonderful. Walk back to forearm plank. Press up to high plank. Lift the hips high. Downward facing dog. Three breaths to seal in our standing practice. Demand it and you'll get it in and out. Fill up and offer ha. One more breath in and sigh. Ha. Hinge forward to high plank. Lower slowly all the way to the belly. All oh, the work is behind you, at least on the mat, at least today. Gaze to the right, arms by your sides. Rest here. Notice the breath here. Notice it moving. Notice the feedback, the pressure, the mat against the body. Deeper breaths, slower heart rate. When you're ready, gently switch the gaze to the other side. One day forearm stand means today dolphin. One day a big promotion means today being the first one at the office or the first one on the Zoom call. I wonder what goals you've set for yourself out there, yogis, and what steps there are to take to make an incremental, sustainable step in the right direction. When you feel even, Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, press up to tabletop, and lay down onto the back with the feet facing the top of the mat. Come into bridge pose as you're ready. Soles of the feet flat, heels close to the glutes, hips high. Roll the palms open towards the sky. And experiment here with pressing down through the feet so that the quadriceps, the tops of the legs activate the glutes and the back line of the legs relax. Experiment with squeezing the glutes to lift the hips high and see which one feels more productive to your back. Maybe you want to do a little bit of both so that you work the legs and the glutes, quadriceps and the hamstrings equally. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep the hips lifted, but lift the right foot high to the sky. Drape the right ankle over the knee. Find yourself in a supine figure four. Right knee can sink towards the mat, but keep the hips lifted, breath flowing. Breathe in and out. In and out. One more in and out. Keep the hips lifted, lift the right leg high. Set the foot down, keep the hips lifted, lift the left leg high. Drape the left ankle over the right knee. Oh my God, why, oh why did I make this choice today? Five big breaths here. Equanimity and balance often feels like hard work. 
three, two, and one. Lift the foot up, set it down, one breath with the hips high, release and sigh. Oh my God, hug the knees. Wrap them up tight like you love them for all that effort they just did. Wonderful job, yogis, my God. Good job, Amy. Dead bug pose as you're ready. Capture the soles of the feet from the outside or the in. Lately, I've been enjoying grabbing the feet from the outside, or inside rather, and then having the elbows inside the knees. And you can pull down with the hands, and then you can gently pry open the legs with the elbows. So elbows inside the knees. Yeah, and then use the elbow to pry the knees open for a little bit greater stretch. If that feels good, keep it. If it doesn't, boy, ditch it. Deep breathing. Longer exhales and inhales. I think it was Ben Franklin maybe that said a lot of people miss opportunities because they show up dressed in overalls and looking like hard work. Don't miss the opportunity to take a step towards your goal today because it looks like hard fucking work. Embrace it. Release the knees by hugging them to the chest. Keep the right leg as you extend the left leg long to the mat. For a second, open the right leg out towards the armpit. And then guide it across the body for a supine twist. You can scoot the hips several inches to your right. Open the right arm into cactus. Gentle grip with the left hand on the right knee. Breathing. As you breathe out, surrender. Relaxing somewhere your grip or your neck, your face. Let me gravity do a measure of the work here. Breathe in and surrender. Remember, simple is not necessarily the same thing as easy. To let go of some stuck trauma or pain from the past. Not easy, but sometimes necessary to open up space and room to move forward with greater degree of possibility, potential, newness. Shake it off, as they say, and make yourself ready to face the challenge that's awaiting you today. Allow a few full breaths to slowly switch sides. not take a moment in the middle to give the knees a hug. They've done a good job, or they've tried their best at the very least. My knees spend a lot of time trying real hard. God bless them. They're made of Swiss cheese. But that means they need my love more, not less. When you find your way to the same pose on the opposite side, take the same steps, surrendering. Resting heavy. Relaxing, letting go. When you feel even, when you're ready. Making your way back through midline, taking any poses you may need. Before surrendering to Shavasana. Final rest. Let the palms roll open to the ceiling or the sky. Spread the feet wide enough that they naturally sway open as well. Perhaps a second to scoot the shoulder blades underneath the heart so that the chest is invited to open fully. Take a big breath in and sigh. Fill up and offer up one more deep as you can let it go as you melt start to relax fully starting with the head feel it melt heavy to the mat beneath you neck and throat relaxed 
muscles of the face softening, tongue relaxing, breath slowing. Notice the rise and fall of the chest is happening a little less quickly with each passing moment. Invite the chest to relax. Both shoulders to melt heavy. Upper arms relax. Forearms melting into the mat. Backs of the hands melting. All ten fingers heavy. So that you almost can't distinguish where your arms stop and the surface beneath them begins. Breath slow and steady, chest relaxed. Invite the belly to soften, surrender. Hips are heavy. The butt and upper legs melting. Backs of the knees weighing down towards the mat like they're magnets, pulling them down. Lower legs melting to the mat, indistinguishable now, the legs from the surface beneath you. Heels heavy, feet relaxed, toes like lead, whole body heavy, Don't move just yet. Not quite yet. Before you move, consider how slow you will have to move just the index finger to touch the tip of the thumb so that you can feel the bones creaking beneath the skin like old door hinges. And then move just the index fingers and the thumbs that slowly until they barely touch. Relax the index fingers. Next, move the middle fingers so slowly you can feel the movement of the bones. When you're ready, the ring fingers. Slow, creaking mindful and present, finally the pinky, when you're ready, making fists of the whole hands, taking note now of the power that's in your hands, the presence, opening them wide, rolling out the ankles, the wrists, taking your time to mindfully wake up corners of the body to invite presence and power along with it to propel you on your way, stretching and reaching the arms up high overhead, biceps by the ears as you're ready, a conduit, clear and present, powerful, nothing you can't accomplish without many, many, many right-minded steps. Roll onto your right side, curl it nice and tight here. Take a moment to feel held and nurtured, brand new and ready to take on whatever challenge faces you, to take a step towards whatever goal awaits you.
Press up to a comfortable seat as you're ready, yogis. We'll take three breaths together to seal our practice in today. Sit up tall and proud. Set your hands in a deliberate way. Big full breath in. And out. Take it. And give back. Fill up. And offer. <sighs> Inhale the thumbs to the forehead. Exhale the chin to the chest. Thank you so much, Outlaws, for being part of the Outlaw Yoga Club, for being part of our online yoga community, for doing great things out there for the world. Namaste. Mm-hmm.